The OSCE Media Freedom Representative called for the release of journalists arrested in Azerbaijan. The OSCE Representative on Freedom of the Media, Teresa Ribeiro, has expressed grave concern after the detention of 14 staff members from the independent online media outlet Toplam TV. Reports indicate that on the 6th of March, police conducted a search of Toplam TV's editorial office on unspecified grounds, seizing equipment, sealing the media platform's premises and detaining 14 employees. While most were released from police custody in Baku by midnight, at least three remain detained and face allegations of smuggling. Furthermore, on the same day, unauthorized renaming of Toplam TV's YouTube account and the disappearance of video records were reported. The repeated imposition of severe measures against media personnel in Azerbaijan is deeply troubling, stated Ribeiro. Journalists must be able to carry out their work without fear of reprisal. She highlighted these events in the context of recent arrests of journalists from the Abzaz media platform, as well as Canal 13 and Canal 11, online media channels which she previously raised with the Azerbaijani authorities. I call on authorities to release all detained media workers. All OSCE participation states committed themselves, including through the 2018 Ministerial Council decision on the safety of journalists, to fostering a safe working environment and ensuring the protection of journalists. Самон само початку ми робили робимо внесок для завершення війни на основі перемовин. Ми готові приймати мирний саміт, до якого буде залучена також і Росія. Що стосується самого формату інаугураційного саміту, ми не бачимо представників Росії на цьому саміті. Ми не бачимо, яким чином може запрошувати людей, які все блокують, руйнують і вбивають. Ми хочемо отримати результат, результат справедливий мир і саме справедливий для України. Тому спочатку цивілізовані країни світу розроблять детальний план і будуть мати результат. А вже потім будуть залучати представників Росії, саме тих, хто готовий до справедливого миру. Відписують від імені уряду України міністр оборони України Рустем Умєров. Від імені Турецької Республіки міністр торгівлі Турецької Республіки Омер Богат. Угода між урядом України та урядом Турецької Республіки про створення системи електронного обміну попередньо інформацію щодо товарів та транспортних засобів, які переміщуються між сторонами. Five people have been killed during the aerial delivery of humanitarian aid sent to the Gaza Strip, CNN reported with reference to eyewitnesses. The cargo was dropped from the plane in the area of the Al Shadi camp where the refugees were located. Heavy boxes containing aid fell on people gathered in the area as the parachute delivering the cargo did not open. Two people died instantly after sustaining serious injuries, while three others died in a hospital. Over 10 people were injured during the incident. Some of them are in serious condition. It should be noted that the United States and a number of other countries are carrying out airdrop of humanitarian aid to Gaza where there is a shortage of food. The United States air dropped first aid last Saturday. It hasn't been reported yet which country was airdropping aid when the deadly incident took place. According to some sources, the aid was dropped from a U.S. plane.
ਕੋ